Isaiah 54 in your Bible, Isaiah 54, amen. And in the 16th and the 17th verse, amen. God has given me a word today, amen. Isaiah, amen, the, one of the major prophets, amen, that never gave up on Israel. He was talking to Israel, but these two verses, amen, he's still talking to Israel at the end of that first, uh, that 54th chapter, amen. It's the end of it in 16 and the 17 verses of Isaiah 54, amen. If you have it, say amen, amen, and amens again. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the scripture of Isaiah 54, 16 through 17. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. Verse 17. No weapons that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Amen. That's all you need. Uh -huh. That's all you need. Uh -huh. That's all you need. Uh -huh. That's all you need. I, I like to use for a title. It is customary that we come up with a title or should I say an agenda to, to, that you can remember. I am staying with the Lord. I am staying with the Lord. Repeat after me. I, I am staying with the Lord. If you don't stay with anybody, stay with the Lord. Stay with the Lord. I don't care what you're going through. Stay with the Lord. I don't care who your cousin is, your uncle is, your brother, sister, or anybody to tell you anything different. Stay with the Lord. Let us pray. Our Father God, we thank you, Lord, for allowing us the opportunity to come before you to share your word, Lord Jesus, the best we know how and the best we can do. Heavenly Father, there is somebody that can do it better and articulate it better, but I know that I'm going to stay with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, you bless this church on the corner, Lord, many a times. But Heavenly Father, come by here, Lord. Come by here. Come by here. We need you, Lord. Come by here. In the name of Jesus Christ, who died on Calvary's cross for our sins, we thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. I'm staying. I'm going to stay. I'm staying with the Lord. I don't care what they say. I don't care who's the president. I don't care who move into uh, jurisdiction. I don't care because I'm going to stay with the Lord. I don't care where I go and get my finances. I don't care what uh, comes my way, what hurricane comes this way or whatever, I got to stay. I don't know about you, but I got to stay with the Lord. I don't care who talk about me. I don't care what weapons they form against me. I don't care what they say about me. I'm going to stay. I'm staying with the Lord. Many situations have happened in my life, and I uh, know that preaching the word of God is a testimony. It's always, they tell you even those, uh, uh, when you're going through uh, preaching analysis and stuff, it tells you that the sermon that you preach is basically your testimony. And I had many things happening 
my life where I didn't think I was going to make it through. I don't know about y'all, but I've been in situations and, and I've been in uh, job situations. I've been in uh, uh, home situations that I didn't know how that I was going to make it through. I don't know about y'all. Maybe somebody here with me didn't know uh, how you're going to make it through. And you just stood still and know that, that God is there and you stood still and you made it through. But you didn't know how that you're going to pay that light bill. You didn't know how that that that, that water was going to stay on. You didn't know how food was going to be in the house. You didn't know. But you made it through. <laughs> yeah. But uh, 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 there was always something that reigned in my spirit from the Lord and God gave me a word. And, and, and a lot of things that I have been through, even in my workplace, I, he, he said to me, if there is a will, there is a way. So you got to have that in your spirit every time you go do something and, and something seems so difficult and something seems so strange. You have to say, if there is a will, if I got a will, if I study God's word and I stay in God's word and I anchor myself in God's word, if there is a will, there is a way. And God gave it to me. And, and, and when I was going through this, and he said, you remember what you needed to go through it. And, and some of the things and the obstacles that had came your way and some things that had came in your life. And what did you do? And I said, Lord, you told me if there was a will, there was a way. People smile in your face and they, they lie to you and, and, and they lie all the time. You ever seen those kind of people come and smile in your face and tell you a lie right in, in your face and they, they smile and they all the time they want to take your place. They take uh, advantage of your weakness and for kindness. They, they, they smile and tell you how well you are doing and how good you look and how, how you, you, know, you, you just fed up with it sometimes. I don't know about y'all. I don't know nobody here, but God told me to preach this this morning. Come on now. And, 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 I, and I came through and I said, Lord, what can I drop in the people's spirit? Because uh, we all are going through different things. We all uh, are going through things that people are dropping the ball on us. Yeah. Have anybody ever dropped the ball on you? I don't know about you, but I had leaders in the workplace and they said that I supposed to have been doing this and you supposed to be supporting me. But they wanted to put somebody in my place, but, but they dropped the ball on me to see what I was going to do. But God reigned in my spirit. If there is a will, there is a way. And he said, sit back, sit back. Talk to me, pray to me, uh, give, give the word and know that, that, that God is blessing you. Uh, uh, just sit back and look at, there is a will, there is a way. That was the way that I stood on and, and I stood on the Lord's help and I, I stood through the pain. And, and when I go back and look at what they did to me and what they said to me and, and, and the pain of just knowing that they deceived me. I don't know about y'all. Maybe you haven't been deceived before, but I've been deceived many a times, even in the church house, even in the other house I, I served in. People look in your face and they will deceive you. I don't, I, I don't think uh, y'all came in contact because I didn't hear nobody say amen. Yeah. 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 I went through so many things and I, I, I've set up for jobs and I've set up for things knowing in goodwill that I'm, I'm working for the establishment and I, I, I'm supporting it and then somebody drops the ball and they smile in your face. Knowing that they has a, a set up for you. Trying to set you up. Boyfriends, girlfriends, friends. It don't matter. Husbands, uh, 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 wives. And, 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 and this is a natural response to, to, to see what you're going to do. See, they, 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 you know, they had that thing in the back of their mind. Let's see what the Lord do for you now. 
You got people that's just thinking in their mind right now. They're saying, has the Lord going to bring you out of this? You need me. See, 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 I'm just being real this morning, y'all. I mean, I don't know your situation, but if, if, it's, if it's hurting your feet, just stomp it one time. And God is there for you. He won't let you down. And, and because if he had to let me down, I would have got angry and said something that I didn't want to say. Have you ever got to the point that you said something you didn't want to say and you said it anyway? I don't know about y'all, but I'm human. And sometimes I got to the boiling point. But God said, you can get angry, but sin not. There are many times that, that, that I wanted to go down to the armory and get a hand grenade. And, and I know that I was in charge of hand grenades and I was going to bring it back to the workplace and, and, and take the hand grenade and put it under the boss's chair. Oh, y'all ain't never felt like that? Somebody say, God Almighty. Say it, God Almighty. But God says, if there is a will, there's a way. Stand still and know that I am God. Because you're going to have those pains. You, you're going to remember those things that you went through. You, you, you load the gun and you unload the gun and, and you sat there and you look and you say, Lord, could it be me? And God said, no, I got better things for you. Amen. 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 God said it in his word. And, and you give through it and you had courage and you went through it and you walked through it and, 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 and things that you went through in life and you kept on going and, and, and you, you, you fell down and you got up and you fell down. How, how many people fell down, you fell down and you, you, you got up and you fell down again and, and you repeated the same res, uh, uh, mistakes and you had mistakes over here and you went here and you went there and you said, Lord, help me, Lord. If there's a will. There is a way. Well, the number one thing, thing that helped me do it all, when, when, when those people come against you, when they, when they, when they want to hurt you, let me tell you one of the things that I held on to. And it's only one word. Only one word. It's called truth. See, you can't go wrong with the truth. You can't go wrong if you want to be successful with the truth. You can't go wrong by hanging with the truth because the truth will try to get rid of you. But God said, I got something for you. If it was set up for you to be put in this situation, God said, stand on truth. And you'll get through it. It's something about that truth. It's, it's something about they, they, they wouldn't let me go to meetings because I told the truth. They, 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 wouldn't, they can't come against me and, and, and try to make me go against somebody else that's wrong. And, and somebody, they can't go through it if I tell the truth. If I tell the truth, they don't want to have a conversation with me. If I tell the truth, if I tell the truth, they can't lie on me because I tell the truth. I, they, I, I, if I tell a lie, I got to tell another lie. And then I got to tell a lie for the lie. But when I tell the truth, all I got to do is stand on the truth. And there were some young men that had got in some situations from some of their leaders that dropped the ball on them. And I said, all you got to do is just stand on the truth. Just stand on the truth. And, they, and when they stood on the truth, they came through it like fine gold. But if we stand on the truth, 
of God. If we if we stand on the truth in God's side, if we got to be in righteousness, we got to be in good standing. Then sometimes you can you can make a truth a lie. It ain't no half lies. It ain't no half truth. You either right or wrong. And God is God is telling us in this day and time. Amen. To stand on the truth. But I won't hold you long this morning. Let's go to the text if you don't believe it. He started out in the 16th verse. And I said, Lord, why are you just giving me the 16th and the 17th verse? He said, I got something to explain to everybody. He said, behold. See, when God said, behold, that means you pay attention and you look up. Don't look down. Or don't, 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 don't be face to the ground. Don't get in depression. Don't, don't get upset. He said, look up. Behold. Behold, there, there's something to reach for. There's something to hold on to. There's something that you, that'll carry you through. I told you if there's a wheel. There's a way. God said to Israel, he said, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. How many of you been in the fire? And some of y'all in the fire right now. Some of y'all in, in the fire right now. Maybe you, you, you made a bad decision. Maybe uh, uh, life is worth a whole lot of decisions you got to make. But, but maybe you made a bad decision. But just hold on into the fire. He said, the fire, the smith. That, that means somebody else or, or, or something that come against you or, or some people that, that come in your life. See, see, I know what I'm talking about. That's why I say that some people will set you up and drop the ball. That Some people, it's always an outer force sometimes. It, it ain't just you all the time. It's an outer force that come against you. And we need to learn that, that, that this world, everybody ain't saved. Just because you saved, everybody ain't saved. They're not saved. And we always expect somebody that served the devil is saved. Somebody that loved the devil is saved. We, we have in our mind that, that he's going to do right. He's going to do right. If he ain't going to do right, he ain't going to do right. If he ain't going to be in truth or she ain't going to be in truth, she ain't going to be in truth. Until she gave, give his life or uh, he give his life to Christ and, and, and serve the Lord and, 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 and admit the mistakes and find out that my ego is my problem and, and, and my situation is my problem and, and I, I, I got to recognize when I'm wrong and when I'm right. God says stand on the truth. But, but, we got to look at the word he said that, that blow off the, the, the coals and, and blow on the coals in, in the fire. See, see, if y'all look at some, see, that's why uh, I, I tell my wife sometimes I be looking at the way Africans cook. They get three stones and they put a pot up there. We get, we can come and we bless. We can go in there and cut on the, the, the stove and just turn it and, and, and the fire up on us. And, and sometimes we got to maybe light a little match. Y'all, y'all went through all that. But when they get the firewood and break it up, the little kindling, they put it underneath the pot. And then when they light it, they blow it. They blow it and they blow it. Even if you use charcoal, they blow it. And sometimes they take a pipe and they blow. God is blowing on you. God is blowing on you. He's he healing you right now. He's blowing on you. You could be in the hospital. He's still blowing on you right now. But when somebody else comes and they want to turn up the heat, they blow on you. And sometimes, sometimes, and I know that I talked about the workplace. I remember when times that I, 
I did yeah. my work and I, I got it down to where I can handle it. I'm almost finished. And here come that devil with some extra work that he didn't give to nobody else. And stock it up on your desk. Since you're down to a little bit, my one or two, here's some more. Here's some more work. See, see, we don't understand that. When, 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 when I got a problem, here come another problem. When, I, when I'm in a situation, now somebody wants to make the situation even worse. You ever had those kind of people come in? They know you're going through something. They know that you're suffering. They're here they come again with something else. Uh, I, 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 see, I don't know. See, you understand them sometimes and say, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Because I said, here, when I get out of one situation, now you're going to give me another situation. <laughs> and they're smiling your face. <laughs> they're blowing, they're blowing, they're blowing on the coals, y'all. You're already in the fire. I'm going to give him some more. I said, Lord, what am I going to do? Stand on the truth. What am I going to do, Lord? What do what you want me to do? He, he come in my spirit again. If there's a will. If there's a will. If there's a will. If you just stop and think about it. There's a way. And, and I was looking at that. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. That's what I was talking about, that pipe that they blow under the fire. <sighs> well, they know how to do these instruments. Uh, somebody brings something in your way. They say, why you bring that here? I don't want that. It's always something coming your way that want to destroy you. But God, he, he began to talk to Israel. Bring it forth instruments for his word. And I have created the waste of to destroy. See, it said that he produced that instrument, he produced a weapon. Or she produced a weapon. Is that producing stuff that cause it to be worse? Are they or him or her producing something to make it worse? Here they come again. Here they come again. Oh, Lord, you take up your phone sometimes. You say, Lord, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. You know it. You pick up your phone. Sometimes call ID don't give you any, any rest. I know I need to answer it. I, I know I need to answer it, but you got to seek the Lord in all things. Sometimes you just leave it alone. And they call. And they call. And they call. I know you're there. Leave it on your, your answer machine. I know you hear me. I know the phone is ringing. But sometimes you got to clap your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. But, but, but this is when, when God really helped me out. The 17th verse was the kicker, but I had to show you that the enemy come first and try to destroy you, and you need to stand. You remember that song, Stand? You need to stand and know that I'm God. Stand and know that I'm here. Stand that I'm going through this. Stand. Look at what he said. No weapons that is formed against thee shall prosper. It ain't work. 
I don't care what you do. You can empty my bank account. It ain't gonna work. You can take the tires off my car. It ain't gonna work. You can take and run the gas out of my car. It ain't gonna work. Oh yeah. If my cars don't work in it, I gotta go to church. Y'all know that thumbing. Y'all ever seen it? I remember when I used to miss some days of New Penu car breakdown or whatever. Somebody always go in the New Penu shipbuilding. I take my badge out sometime. Stop immediate. Hey bro, get in, man. You going my way, bro. Huh. But see, some of us get egos and some of us get all intelligent and we can't rely on nobody. But God said, there's somebody out there that's going your way. That's, that's been through what you've been through. That's going through what you're going through. Yeah, yeah. I told you, everything ain't been a bed of honey for me. That's why I can preach like this. When you think people going to stay in the church. And people leave. You think it's going to stay like that? I got news for you. Don't get along when church members leave you. I thought, I really love her. I really love him. Everybody's not going to be with her. He said, if they go, let them go. If you're living where God wants you to live, if they go, let them go. You need the Lord on your side. He said, I'm the one that supply all of your needs. I'm the one that's going to help you. I'm the one that's feeding you. I'm the one that's going to take care of you. I'm the one. I'm the one. No weapons. No weapons. There's not a weapon. You can put 32 rounds in there. There's not a weapon. There's not a weapon that form against you shall prosper. And the kicker is <laughs> every tongue. You know that preacher down there in the corner. I, I don't like him. Why? What have he done to you? He went to church. You ever seen some people have some stupid things on why they don't like people? I don't like him because he tied up his shoes. Or he smiles. I don't, I don't like him because he don't fuss enough. See, you got women like that too and, and men like that. I don't like her because she don't like the fuss. <laughs> I need somebody I can fuss with. I need somebody I can cuss out now and then. This is becoming a terrible society. It's become a ter uh, it's ter a terrible. I can't go with him because he don't fuss. I can't talk to him because he don't have nothing to fuss about. What's wrong with that picture? As long as he's not talking against you, he's not saying anything about you, but you got people that's talking about you. That's saying something against you. That in judgment on you. And I remember when, when, when Biles did her flips and, and I heard people on social me media. She, she doing all these flips and she, she got the gold medal. But she need to learn how to fix her hair. I said, you got to be the biggest fool in the world. You need to learn how to flip. So you can be on a box of Syria. So you can get some contracts. Hell, no hell. 
but you got people that 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 they put their tongue on you. But he said, if anybody, anybody that rise against thee in judgment, thou shall condemn. Anybody spoke against you and you you seen the car break down on them. You seen the refrigerator break down on them. You seen the house burn up. Because they talked against you. But but you did not say anything. Don't don't say just stand still. Just 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 remain to stand still. If you see things happening because they spoke against you and they said things against you, just stand still. Just keep on standing. Just keep on standing. Look forward. Look straight. Don't look to the right. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing against them because you be doing the same thing that they do. I had to say that because some people said, see, see, if you hadn't have been saying that against me, that would not happen. Just stand still and know that he's God. That's all. Just, just stand still. See, you got to be in another phase. Even though they at that phase and you, you over here, stand on truth. God said it in his word that the tongues shall rise against thee. In judgment, thou shalt condemn. When God said he condemned, and when things come against them, Israel, they had a lot of stuff against them. They had a lot of stuff against Israel. We got a lot of stuff against us. You don't believe me? I can take you to a restaurant. They don't know if they're going to let you in. They don't know if they're going to serve you. But you keep on going anyway. Because God said it. But look at this. The last one in that verse. This is. He didn't say it might be. Or maybe. And uh, he tried. He said it is. This is the heritage of the servants. Of the Lord. Amen. Not of Satan. He said of the Lord. Say of the Lord. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. And I thank God that you got up this morning. Even though you didn't feel like going to church. You didn't feel like eating your oatmeal or whatever you had to do to go to church and you wanted to stay home and wrap up in your covers and all kinds of stuff. But I guarantee you that you have a heritage of the Lord and he's going to reign in your spirit and he's going to bless you. He's going to wake you up when you need to wake up. He's going to carry you. He's going to build you up. He's going to break you through. You're going to get your breakthrough. I come out and tell you, just keep on keeping on. Keep on serving him. Keep on giving him to him. You got to give over to him. Oh, there's a lot of times that I was going to give up. A lot of times that God said, you see, you see, I come to your rescue. I come and fix you up. I don't think y'all been fixed up before. Maybe you got a blessing before. Maybe, maybe you got a blessing before. And then you say, hallelujah. God, I thank you. Sometimes you have to say thank you before the blessing comes. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you say, of the Lord and their righteousness is of me. Say, of the Lord. Amen. If you in his heritage, if you in his set, stand on your feet right now. And just reach up. If you can stand, I don't know if he done bless your legs where you can stand. I, maybe you want the legs taken from under you. I don't know. Maybe you don't, you don't want your back to hurt uh, or whatever. But you need to stand and say, Lord, I give thanks, Lord. I'm praising you right now. You have to take this opportunity to receive the blessings of God. To receive those blessings. To receive your breakthrough. I'm looking for a mighty breakthrough. 
In the name of the Lord, I don't care how old I get and how long I wait. It's coming. It's coming. Because he said no weapons. There's no weapons. None. Formed against you. Thank you, Lord. This God. This God. Is there one? Grace Entwined Ministries, The Gym, founded in 2012 by licensed and ordained pastors James and Gail Gilmore, is a ministry whose sole purpose is, number one, to win souls through the gospel power of Jesus Christ, number two, to bring saved and unsaved alike to the full knowledge of Christ through the Word of God, the Holy Bible, and number three, to entwine or weave all doctrines and denominations to worship the Lord. To that end, you are invited to become a gem light. In other words, become an online member of Grace Entwine Ministries. This growing ministry, headquartered in Forsman, Virginia, but is going into all the world, teaching all nations according to the commission in Matthews 28, 19 through 20. And how do you become a gem light? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Go to graceandtwineministries.com and select the monthly supporter option. When you do that, you will receive an official gem welcome letter and a beautiful gem engraved pen. But it doesn't stop or end there. We want to help you grow in your faith and yes, become a shining light. As a gem light, you are invited to subscribe to the Gem Nugget channel on YouTube to receive weekly teaching and instruction to grow in your faith. You will receive your weekly Sunday School lesson on Church School Live, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Co-Pastor Gail M. Gilmore teaches from the International Sunday School Lesson Series. You are also invited to study to show yourselves approved by tuning in for a weekly Bible study. It's called a life study. Pastor James E. Gilmore Sr. is teaching Thursdays, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, encouraging you not to just read, not to just study, but to learn more how to apply the Word of God to your everyday life. And of course, join us every Sunday for worship from Grace and Twine Ministries in Portsmouth, Virginia, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We want to be your church no matter where you are. Be a gem light because you will find real love at the gym.